This is Robert Merdlachi, the Mindshare Learning Report, Canada's Learning and Technology e-magazine. And welcome to This Week in Canadian EdTech. I'm honored to have join me for a Mindshare Learning Moment, Susan Quichen, who is the educator, founder, and managing director of Cube for Teachers, a global platform for educators to access the resources. Never been a more important time given COVID-19 to have those resources available. Thank you for joining me this afternoon, Susan. Thanks very much for having me, Robert. First of all, I hope you and your family are healthy and well and enjoying the added bonding time at home and, and parental teaching support. We absolutely are. We're doing a lot of uh, playing games and, and uh, quality time spent together. Well, your, your kids are fortunate to have two parents as educators and uh, some great resources at their fingertips. So no pressure, no doubt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, but it's really about balance, isn't it? I, I would agree. Absolutely. It is about balance. You know, um, I think there's so much going on outside all of our, well, outside out in the outside world, outside of the houses, that it really is not about pressure in academics you know, the bottom line is that they're socially and mentally and their well-being is good. And so we play a lot of games and, you know, things that they don't even realize they're learning, right? Absolutely. You could still do project-based learning while you're at home. And it's not all about being online either. The teacher could direct you to do a, a, a project that isn't always on the computer. And that's been a big ask. I'm in a lot of international educator groups and it is a big ask, those offline activities so the kids can get off the screens and, and reconnect a little bit and stay focused while still staying engaged. It, yeah, you know. And, you know, given that it was Earth Day the other day, I could see, you know, kids going out into the backyard and, and starting a little garden or exploring in the garden if there is one, that sort of thing. But it's also important to, to stay physically active. Uh, I know our kids are pretty active as athletes and, and recreational athletes. So am I missing my three hockey games a week, uh, in a, but I'm adapting, right? So how are you guys doing in that regard with the kids? and? Keeping yeah, them well, we've all adapted. We're a hockey family as well. And uh, we actually do a family morning workout routine because, you know, you can't have it too scheduled, but we all go into the basement and do some exercises for awesome. half an hour or so and just pump up the music and kind of let loose so we can – clear our minds and get focused for the day. Awesome. Now, Cube for Teachers, uh, you're now in your ninth year, over 60,000 resources, never been a more important time uh, in having access to amazing free resources. So kudos to you for that. And what inspired it, first of all? Well, okay, so four things really. First and foremost is equity. You know, when we think about kids around the world, every child's entitled to a strong education. And you look at different school districts, different schools in different places of the world, and they're not all created equal. Whether it's demographics or, you know, where they're located um, in the world, there could be access to internet, Wi-Fi. You know, there's a, a myriad of reasons why things aren't created equal. So we wanted to make sure there was a place where educators could share free resources that were valuable to them, that made a difference to them, and, and get access to free resources. So that was the first part. Um, awesome. Next is differentiation. You know, um, no two students are the same and no two teachers are the same. We all have um, different learning strengths and different learning challenges. So to be able to have a place where um, an educator could go and search for a resource that, you know, for example, maybe I wasn't a strong math teacher and, you know, I was more of a um, and engaging into science, not so much the math. And I find an educator on Cube who is a strong math educator and shares a lot of great math resources. We can support each other that way. So it's about finding that difference in, in um, different strengths. And then also it's teacher centric. So as we travel the internet and the, you know, the internet grows and grows daily, there's so many different places to go. And teachers will go wherever they can go to find those resources. That's one thing I do know is we will do whatever we have to to find the resource to support the learning need in our classroom. And um, there's so many great things on social media. There's Facebook and Pinterest and Wakelet and you name it. But when you go to these places, they're not teacher centric. They're not a place that caters solely to educators. There's right. a lot of distraction. Conversations get filtered in there. You get to see what people are having for lunch and breakfast and easily distracted. So we wanted to make sure Cube was 
committed to the educator and just about the resources. So when you educators come to CUBE and search, they find what they need and they get back to their kids to kind of streamline that time. And lastly, it's, it's about that our time is valuable and the resources are scattered across the net. And there could be an incredible, a lot of teachers like to blog and they do phenomenal work and they share it in blogs. But when you go on Google and you search, their blog may not be, may get filtered out in search engine right. optimization, you may not find it. But if another teacher somewhere in the world has found it and shared it, or if they share it, then I can easily ex access it on Cube. So it's about awesome. making those Well, thank you for contributing to our free resource hub that we created for educators uh, in Canada. And perhaps you can uh, give us a sneak peek uh, and share your screen. Oh, for sure, absolutely. And you've no doubt had uh, interest from countries across the world. Uh, perhaps you can share a few of the ones that have been uh, taking advantage of uh, the resources. Well, I think more than ever now, CUBE has become an integral resource for educators around the world because it's a place to, to find those free resources. So we have had um, thousands of educators every week coming to CUBE, and now you can search right here on the front so you made it really easy. I don't have to register for an account. I can you don't do have to register. You can okay. search remote teaching and there are yeah. over 400 resources that have been shared, tagged as remote teaching. So whether it's remote teaching math, English. Wonderful. Um, as well as the over you know 60,000 other resources that have been shared there. Fantastic. And these yeah, are so all teacher uh, review, teacher created, teacher so discovered. Open educational resources. So anything that is free and open and shareable, um, whether a teacher has created it or found it. And they right. could be anything under the sun. So this is the search filter. Um, as an educator account, I get additional filters along the side so I can filter out um, anything that isn't educational that happens to be shared. Um, you can search for, let's do math, mm -hmm. grade five. Here we go. So these are resources shared by grade five math teachers and they take you right to the resource. So you click out and a new tab will open automatically and it'll take you to the resource. So it's about oh, saving time. And well, then I can it's very text. streamlined and efficient for sure. Right. And then I can look by Ontario. So wherever I am in the world, I can specify more centralized on the area around me and then as well as within my school board. So I can share from I can search from the global to the local perspective. I can search for users and then every educator gets the profile page. So another thing that has become quite valuable in this current day and age and all this remote teaching and remote learning is there has been an influx of resources that have been shared. And teachers are also getting overwhelmed with the amount of resources. So CUBE provides them a place where they can curate and organize all of those resources in one spot. Fantastic. So I can save my resources into a folder? You can save your resources and you can even put them into a folder such as this, mm -hmm. um, make notes about it and share the URL out publicly if the folder is classified wow. as public um, so that you can get those resources out to your colleagues or, or students or parents and they don't have to create an account to access Cube and they just right. come right in. And, well, that's, uh, that's very robust, simple, but very robust. Thank you, thank you. It's very streamlined and it's designed with the yeah. educator in mind and it's solidly about those resources and, and getting those teachers the resources and, they need. And you've got a blog component as well? Pardon me? You've got a blog component? So Yeah, we do have a, we've got a blog and we're also um, collecting blogs and hosting blogs. And here we go. Our blog is right here. So we have a blog where we share resources. There's a lot of different compilations of resources that can be found, and that's open and accessible for anybody with a uh, anybody interested who'd like looking for resources. Oh, that's fantastic! Have you have you embarked on any webinars uh, that have gotten very popular? Um, we haven't ourselves done any webinars. I've done a, quite a few um, chats with people, but we are actually considering starting up some webinars to. Uh, especially at this point in time, just quick 15 minute um, yeah. conversations. And, and uh, perhaps you can offer some advice to teachers on, on resources and kind of, you know, managing it. And, you know, I'm hearing worksheets being sent around, like a bunch of worksheets that need to be printed off. You, you want to have some creativity and challenge the kids not to just that kind of drill and kill kind of. Right. And I think, I think there has to be a variety and, mm. 
as, as in the classroom, there has to be a variety and there's a lot of conversation around access to Wi-Fi and access to internet and access to right. I just, I just lost you there for a moment. Oops. Um, hmm. Lack of uh, technology at home, we can make those accommodations um, in our classrooms, but now making those accommodations beyond, you know, from our homes to their homes makes it a lot more challenging. And um, again, I think it's looking for it's just diversifying and finding those resources. And we have this great remote teaching resource page that has categorized multi resources under different folder headings to help um, streamline it for, for educators so they can take those virtual field trips or um, do some science on the fly or talking about, you know, measurement in a kindergarten classroom. There's um, opportunities where people can, you know, I saw a blog recently where an educator was sharing measurement in kindergarten and she had shoes along the couch to measure how many shoes the couch was and you know how many coins does it take to measure your granola bar and so educators are working hard to make these adaptions so they can be workable exactly such great opportunities to integrate the home for learning isn't there yeah they really are they really and, are but it's, it's a mindset change you know i i've been doing more cooking and the amount of math involved right <laughs> and creativity it, well it we really... have a bread maker and our kids yeah. have been making pizza dough and pick the bread yes. we're going to make today and and measure the ingredients and you know fractions and all the things that they're learning yeah it's, well it's there are a I lot like... of great learning opportunities i like to say thank you for that i like to say it's never been a more exciting time to be in education, particularly given the climate that we're in. And it sounds like you're doing all the right things for the kids, lucky kids, and, and, and lucky teachers for, for your passion in, in supporting uh, uh, student equity and, 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 and success. Well, thank you. Thank you. I think it's it's, it's it, you're right it is it's a very challenging time right now but i think you know the we are better together and together we can get through this well with that thank you so much sue thank you for having me robert that was susan quichen the founder and managing director of cube for teachers my name is robert merglacci the mindshare learning report be sure to check out www.mindsharelearning.com to get your latest issue and until next time stay healthy Stay safe and keep the learning curve steep.